okay guys so you've got your you've downloaded your uh, ram disk program now you get your ram disk program and you start it up and this is what you get you get this square here so first you go to images create image um, right decide where you want it and all that so if you want it on c drive put the name in right and and that'll come in there the type of volume you want i, I just think you can put that whatever you want file system the size and then press ok so now you've got you've made an image then you want this image to load on boot up so go to add boot disk add and then and the add boot disk go here and go to the image you just made mine's here and I, I can't do it because you know I've already done it but that'll fill all this in do not do hard disk emulation that slows you down put save contents to image tick that put the drive letter you want I use R for RAM disk and NTFS so now there it is mine's a gigabyte size and it boots up it, it loads up on every boot up you can see there R drive now what to do is make a directory called GC uh, that, that stands for Google Cache okay now once you've done that come to your Google shortcut right click it click properties and here just put the first bit in in your target line I'll put this down in the description but what you want is what you want is you want this disk cache dirt equals and then R G C. If I'll put this in the description down below we'll go to the end of this line here right right there there's the end there then make a space and then put it in there I'll give you it down below you could paste it in then press apply and save that so that'll make your Google Chrome um, temporary file directory on the RAM disk so your Google Chrome's fast so that's how you do it guys I'll, I'll paste all the um, I'll paste the stuff you need this bit here this bit here you might be wondering this cache size that's to make my cache 250 megabyte limit I'll put it all down below in case you want to do that as well so that means my disk cache can't go bigger than 250 the reason I've done that is I don't want to have a big massive cache um, taking up all my RAM disk so that's how you do it guys that's how you move your google chrome cache and make the size on your ram disk this path here depends on the path you made um, that's why i'm telling you to make it on our drive and to make it in um, the same directory name as i did and then you can just copy and paste my what i did so there you go guys that, that should help you um, any questions down you know put them down below and i'll try and help you and uh, please leave a like and subscribe this helped you um now that's for just you guys if anyone's watching this to move a cache of another program you just do it the same way for example i'll show you my second life let me just start it up so you do the same with any game guys really that has a cache Start it up, go into your preferences of your game, my cache is there, and you can see here, R drive, SL cache, so I, I made my second life cache also on R drive, and I also limited the space, because my drive is only one gigabyte, so that goes there, so as you can see my Chrome cache, see? all files in there so I hope that helped guys you can put anything 
on your RAM drive. You can also put your Windows temporary files on it, which will speed up Windows. But I would not advise it because Windows temporary files take up a lot of space. And if you do that, you will find that um, your RAM drive gets full very quick. I would advise you to do the temporary file thing if you've got a lot of RAM. Like, if your RAM disk is, let's say, 8 gig upwards, I would advise to do that. But um, I haven't done it before. You can tick a box in this program. There's a box somewhere. I think it's on the setup. I'm not. Oh, there you go. Set Windows Temp folder. Yeah, I haven't done it, but, um, but you can do it, and that will set them in here. Yeah, your temporary folders here. You can set those to our drive as well. But I'm not going to do that. Never, ever, ever, ever. I've tried this. Don't ever do this. Um, put your page file on there. I'm not even going to go into why, but just don't do it. Okay, catch you all later.